All right, welcome back, everybody. It is Friday night. It is time for another $5 knife. So this one is a Survivor knife. Bought this off of eBay. It is a brand new knife, and it was exactly $5. Free shipping. So it fits. It's the $5 Friday night knife. Um, let's see. What model number is this? I don't even know. Oh, there it is. HK... 1023 DG made in China from Master Cutlery. So, uh, yeah, another survivor knife. It's very light, very light. So, I'm guessing it's very small. Um, we're going to open up with the 511 that we got back you know, a few months ago in one of the uh, monthly knife club boxes. Oh, also, I have my daughter Allie here. Allie, say hi. Hi. She's going to give you her opinion on this. $5 knife also. So, all right, we got the tape cut. Well, I thought we had the tape cut. We got one more to cut. Somewhere over there. There we go. All right, now we're now we're cooking with bacon grease. All right, that is a tiny, tiny knife. My goodness. Um, yikes. Okay, so just a standard nylon sheath belt loop. Um, pretty Pretty thin and flimsy on the, the nylon, but uh, this part for the belt loop is reinforced and thicker. So yeah, it does have snap, which I like better than Velcro. And uh, wow. <laughs> what do you think of that, Allie? It looks cool. It looks cool? But tiny. It's very tiny. Yeah, look how, look how little that is in my hand. That I have that not... That my size. That might be your size, yeah. Yeah, don't touch the blade, but grab that by the handle. See, that's a, wait, come back over here to the, yeah. So that is a seven-year-old's hand, and that looks about right. So if you have a kid, all right, go ahead and let go. If you have a kid, uh, that might be a first first camping knife for him, I guess. Um, it is a Bowie-style knife, and have a little, little hand guard there, but it's so tiny. Um, USA design, made in China. Uh, let's see, does it say what the stain? It just says stainless. Mystery stainless. We don't know what kind of steel that is, Allie. That's no no bueno. That means it's probably not very good stainless steel. What do you think of that handle, though? Touch that handle again. Does that feel good or bad? It feels good. It feels good. You like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 rubbery. It's um. It's, it's kind of like the middle is plastic, and then it's got this rubbery sheath around it, you know? But, uh, yeah, so it's it's like a little mini buoy knife. So, Allie, can you give me a piece of paper? We'll do a cut test, and we'll see. Man, let me look at that bevel real quick. That feels weird up here. It almost feels like this part is got um, a... a it, like it's folded over here. Yeah. I don't know. I I don't have high expectations, but we'll see if it cuts. Ugh. No. <laughs> That's not... Oh, gosh. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible, Allie. We're going to have to sharpen that, because it, it feels like... Um, it feels like it's got a burr all the way down that that bevel and uh yeah definitely that, they sharpened this side second nana's here to pick up annie oh. hi nana i mean nana all right so we're gonna wrap this up but uh my goodness that is a terrible i mean it, it's it basically has no edge on it i mean nothing nothing that'll cut can you give me that magazine we'll try it on magazine paper real quick but uh i'm thinking this thing is a major fail. We've had some good, you know, pretty, well, I won't say good. We've had some pretty decent $5 knives on this series, but this one is definitely, definitely bad. Yeah, it's not, yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, it, it cuts a little, it cuts a little, but it's, it's pretty terrible. So that is a major fail. We'll, uh, I, I think I'll sharpen that up and see if it makes it any better, but uh, for the most part, that is junk. So, not happy with this one at all. 
but it was five dollars so um yeah we'll move it on to somebody else thanks for watching